Mykola Malamuz, General of the Ukrainian Army and former head of the Foreign Intelligence Service of Ukraine, believes that Putin is deeply afraid of his own troops turning against him, so he relies only on proxies and special services. He shared his opinions with Espresso TV. The enemy is currently disorganized in the Kursk region. Unexpected attacks in areas where the enemy is unprepared and unable to mount a strong defense not only destabilize their military but also unsettle the Russian leadership. The Kremlin is now relying on highly trusted individuals because Putin is deeply fearful. He is haunted by the ghost of Prigozhin and fears a repeat of that situation. He worries that his own military might turn against him. That is why he depends on special services, proxies and the Russian Foreign Intelligence Service. However, they lack control and are not equipped for this task. The Ukrainian Defense Forces offensive in Kursk has demonstrated this, Malomuz explained. According to the general, Russia is in chaos, trying to determine how to halt the Ukrainian Armed Forces offensive in the Kursk region. They understand everything. They are pulling together some troops and have created a coordination headquarters that does not even have a single command. Now the Kremlin is trying to find the generals responsible for the failure of the defense of the Kursk region. Moreover, the troops that they are now deploying to the Kursk region have no experience in combat. In particular, from Kaliningrad, from other distant regions of the Russian Federation, and of course, conscripts. We have all seen how their conscripts are fighting. That is why they will be forced to redeploy combat units from the hotspots in Ukraine. However, this will not help them. They still do not have a unified command and do not know what to do, he added. The latest batch of nonsense from Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko directly hints that Russian leader Vladimir Putin is already begging for negotiations. This was stated by the head of the Center for Countering Disinformation of Ukraine, Andriy Kovalenko, on Telegram. According to him, Lukashenko's statements clearly contain narratives that Russia has allegedly already achieved its goal, so the war can already be ended. If we translate everything that Lukashenko said into human language, it is a signal that Putin is already begging for negotiations. Because Lukashenko's long speech implies that his goal has already been achieved, Kovalenko wrote. Earlier, Alexander Lukashenko said that the goal of the special military operation has already been achieved. According to him, the Kursk operation is allegedly an attempt by Kiev to push Russia to use weapons, including nuclear weapons. Да ничего страшного, это ж. На здоровье. Russian President Vladimir Putin has not received a word of support for the Ukrainian Armed Forces offensive in the Kursk region from any of the countries the Kremlin considers friendly, with the exception of Bashar al-Assad regime in Syria, which Russia helped to keep in power.
Even the unrecognized president of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, is trying to maneuver, limiting himself to statements that he is for peace, writes the Moscow Times. The Belarusian leader noted that he would not use nuclear weapons until the border of the Union state was crossed. However, the border has already been crossed since the Russian Federation, including the Kursk region, is part of this union. Belarus has not directly taken part in the conflict between Moscow and Kiev, having called for negotiations instead. However, at the start of Moscow's military campaign in February 2022, it allowed the Russian military to use its territory to launch an offensive on Kiev. Relations between Belarus and Ukraine have been strained ever since. Other countries that are part of the pro-Russian military alliance, CSTO, have not commented at all on the events taking place. In the Kursk region, Armenia, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan have not made any statements on this matter. China, with which Kremlin officials constantly talk about a strategic partnership, responded to the military actions near Kursk only on August the 12th, that is, a week after the start of the Ukrainian offensive, and limited itself to a statement about monitoring the current situation. In response to a media request to comment on the situation in the Kursk region, the Chinese foreign ministry called on all parties to adhere to the principles of cooling the situation. Recall the CSTO secretariat stated that the Russian Federation did not make a request for assistance in connection with the Ukrainian armed forces offensive in the Kursk region. They noted that they intend to monitor the development of the situation.